Good morning, Terry. Just want to talk to you about your drilling endeavors for 2024 with Power Nickel. Sure, we got uh, you know super exciting uh, sort of uh, next 12 months. Uh, we started off uh, with a bang, really started drilling uh, about a week, 10 days ago at our uh, flagship project, NISC, in uh, Namaska, Quebec. Uh, finished our first hole successfully. It was another good hole for us. Uh, and we're on to hole number two. Uh, hole two is really exciting uh, because it's testing. Uh, where we've got, yeah, we used an interesting program last year called Ambient Noise Tomography. And it's a it's an interesting new way to uh, sort of uh, identify resources underneath the Earth's crust. Um, it's basically uses uses super sensitive seismic to measure the velocity of the rock. But it allows you to bring in other technologies like downhole EM, airborne EM, IP gravity, drilling data, and it acts almost like an operating system uh, together with its own information. And then you get like an amazing three D visualization of your subsurface. See a lot of great. Uh, lithographic controls, so you see faults where they are, and so it's super helpful. Uh, and we 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 had one hole last year that we drilled as a result of this, which we thought was going to be a barren area, but they said no, it's going to be successful, and it was. That was hole thirty six. So uh, now we're, we're they identified um, a signature for what was working on our deposit, and when basically when they we have an ultramafic deposit, and when you it measures 4,300 meters a second squared, the ultramafic rock, when it drops off to 36, 37, 50, that's where the massive sulfides got deposited almost on a one for one basis. So that was a signature. So then we looked in our survey radius of about four square kilometers around our core deposit and said, hey, where else are we seeing this signature? And we identified four, you know, you know, sort of significant areas, uh, each one sort of independent, some of them cut off by by other faults. So we have really four separate target areas. Uh, we call them uh, not uh, uniquely ant one, two, three, and four. So uh, we're drilling ant three, uh, which is a little bit to the west of Nisk, Maine, uh, maybe uh, half a kilometer west across the fault block. And we're drilling that now. And, uh, you know, we'll be drilling it. Uh, you know, we'll see what, what happens here over the next week to 10 days. But we're optimistic this will be, uh, you, know, uh, you know, a success story and show another block. Generally, nickel sulfide deposits come in pods. You know, every single one that's ever been produced in the history of the world, it's always a multiple pod. So, for example, NISC right now, we've got the one NISC main. That's the one pod. It's highly likely we'll find other pods. And we expect the exploration program this winter to deliver that promise. So I'm just going to back you up. I was reading in your corporate development that you're planning on increasing your ownership in the NISC project. Would you like to comment on that? Yes. Well, we had an option to acquire up to 80%. And the last remaining uh, you know, issue with that option was the, the delivery of the 43101, which we delivered in um, uh, you know, just about a week or 10 days ago at the final report. So now we're just finishing up the paperwork with uh, with critical elements and we will uh, you know, close on our 80% position. So uh, we'll go from 50 to 80% as per our uh, option plan. You touched on the drilling, the aggressive drilling uh, strategy uh, and advancing your exploration at NISC, but you're also planning on completing your feasibility study with, you know, outstanding partner, of course, CVMR. Would you like to comment on that? Yes, yes. So uh, obviously working away on that, they were waiting for our 43101 to do uh, some of their additional work. So we expect we'll be getting a report in February on the you know, sort of the benchmark study. Uh, and then the next would be the prototyping and then finally the feasibility uh, sometime in Q3. So we did we do have some original uh, testing back and you know the uh, their process is going to be a lot more attractive for us in terms of recoveries. So uh, every deposit has different uh, methods of recovering the metals, uh, you know, for the mining process. Uh, when you make a, uh, you know, our 43101 that we just completed was done with the using a, a concentrate as the uh, output. When you make a concentrate, uh, you know, for the um, to send to the smelters uh, to process, uh, you, you really are dealing with hundred year old technology. So you have to have very specific formulas for those folks to like your concentrate and buy it. So unfortunately, those formulas are not conducive for the highest recoveries for your mineral. So you leave a lot of, like in, in our case, 70% of the nickel is recovered, but 30% isn't. 
uh, with CVMR, we're getting more like 90%. So that's like a 30% improvement across the board. So your grade would go from like 1.13 to 1.5, which is huge, obviously, for economics. The other thing, interesting thing with CVMR is um, iron represents about 12% of our deposit because it's it's a nickel associated with iron. Uh, in the concentrate, the, the iron is a, is a waste product. Uh, with CVMR, the iron is a paying product because they, they turn, turn into iron powder. So, so there's, you, you know, you not only get more out of your nickel, but you actually broaden your recoveries of your other materials and then add a new one in iron. Okay. I would also say that one thing, those of you going, okay, nickel, we're interested in nickel. You've explained why absolutely everybody should be looking at the nickel market. Um, can you talk a little bit more about what I deem to be a competitive edge? And that is your use of technology. You touched on a little bit uh, with your uh, with your ant uh, technology, and you also there's a uh, discussion in one of your most recent news releases about your leapfrog edge technology. Would you like to comment any further about that? Yeah, you know, I think the uh, leapfrog's been out there for a while, and I, I think um, almost every competent mining firm will be using it. It's a good, really good software. Ambient noise tom tomography. We're certainly one of the the first on top of that technology. I think that will sweep the industry. It's Australia's fastest growing company now. Uh, Rio Tinto spent twenty four million with the last year, so uh, or so I've been told. I mean, so I think it's just an amazing new tool that that we'll all need to use. And uh, you know, we're you know, I'm a big believer. I'm not a geologist or a geophysicist. I'm just an investor, and 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 I'm a big believer about doing as much intellectual property work you can on mining uh, before you drill. Drilling is always the last resort. I want to disprove every drill we're going to take. I want to have, you know, people say, you know, conclusively with the science that, hey, that's just, that's a very low grade bet, you know, and then we don't take that bet. But what we want to do is develop high grade bets and make those bets. They are still bets. Mining is still not perfect. Ambient noise tomography is not going to guarantee us 100% drill success because that's not how you know uh, you know drilling economics work. You basically are looking to push the envelope. You, you find an ore body and you want the ore body to be you know infinitely big, but of course the reality is they're not. You know there's a limit. Eventually the ore body peters out, but you have to push that limit to find out where that is. So at the end you ultimately find out the ore body limit by missing it, and then you realize okay it's back from there. That's sort of you know how it happens. But the ambient noise tomography helps you really sort of get the most out of your deposit. I'd say. And it helps you develop a signature to find other deposits if they're located on your property package. And we certainly got that, uh, uh, you know, prospect for power nickel. And we're aggressively exploring it this winter. Well, it's as always, Terry, what a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy. Have a great day. Cheers.